like a bird on a tree. Today we are going to look at how to solve a few problems involving differentiation rule. The first one is find dy dx for y equals to x plus 1 to the power of 2x. So for this question, to solve it, first we are going to take ln at both sides. So we have now ln y equals to ln x plus 1 to the power of 2x. And then we can change the power as the coefficient. So we have 2x ln x plus 1. So differentiating the left hand side, we are going to get 1 over y. But we have to multiply with dy dx. For the right hand side, we have to use product rule. So our u is 2x and our v prime is 1 over x plus 1 plus with our v and our u prime is 2 so rearranging we have 1 over y dy dx equals to 2x over x plus 1 plus with 2 ln x plus 1 so our dy dx is equals to y times 2x over x plus 1 plus with 2 ln x plus 1. And then I am going to substitute my y. So y is x plus 1 to the power of 2x multiply with 2x over x plus 1 plus with 2 ln x plus 1. Now let's try example 2. Find f prime x if fx is ln sine square x. So to solve this question, first we are going to try and differentiate our ln. So in order to differentiate ln, it is equals to 1 over sine square x and then we have to differentiate sine square x so differentiating sine square x is equals with differentiating sine x square so it is equals to 1 over sine square x and differentiate sine x square we have to differentiate it by using power rule so we are going to bring 2 as the coefficient and then we rewrite the whole function and subtract the power by 1. And then we have to differentiate whatever it is in the bracket. In this case, I am going to differentiate sine x. So the answer is cos x. And then of course we can simplify this expression by cancelling the common factor. Okay, so we can cancel sine x and sine x here. So we have 1 over sine x multiply with cos x which is equals to cot x now let us try example 3 find dy dx if y equals to cos ex plus ex multiply with cos x so to do this to find dy dx first we are going to differentiate cos ex so differentiating cos, we are going to get negative sine and the angle follows. So we have negative sine ex and then we have to differentiate the angle. So differentiating the angle, the answer is ex plus with. For this part, we have to use product rule. So our u is ex and our v prime is negative sine x plus with our v which is cos x and our u prime is ex so we had finished differentiating the function we just rearrange so we have negative ex sine ex plus with negative ex sine x 
plus with ex cos x. So this is our answer. For example 4, find dy dx if y equals to secant ex. So to solve this question, to find dy dx, so differentiate secant, we are going to get secant tangent. But the angle follows, so we have secant ex and tangent ex. And then we have to differentiate the angle. So differentiating ex, the answer is ex. And then rearranging the expression, we have ex secant ex tangent ex. So this is the answer. Find the derivatives of the functions given below. For a, we have hash x equals to ln x minus 1 over x plus 1. And for b, we have y equals to ln x square exponent to the power of z x. So let's solve question a first. For question a, originally the function is hash x equals to ln x minus 1 over x plus 1. So to make it easier for us to differentiate, I am going to change it in this form. So now finding h prime x, differentiate ln, we have to take 1 over whatever it is beside ln. So we have 1 over x minus 1. And then we have to differentiate this part. So the answer is 1. Minus with 1 over x plus 1. And then when we differentiate this part, we get 1. So it is equals to 1 over x minus 1 minus with 1 over x plus 1. And then we can equalize the denominator by cross multiplying. So we have x plus 1 minus with x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 1. So the answer is x squared minus 1. So simplifying the numerator, we have 2 over x squared minus 1. Now let's solve question B. So for this function, I can rewrite it as ln okay, as y equals to ln x squared plus with ln e to the power of z x plus 3. Okay, so when it is multiplied, we can convert it like this using the laws of log. So to find dy dx, first we can further simplify this function. So we have 2 ln x plus with z x plus 3 because ln e is obviously equal to 1. And then this is equal to 2 ln x plus with x plus 3 to the power of half. So our dy dx will be, okay, 2 is this constant, so we just rewrite 2. And then differentiate ln x, we have 1 over x. And then differentiate x plus 3 to the power of 1 over 3, it is equals to 1 over 3, x plus 3 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1. And differentiating inside the bracket, we get 1. So finally, the answer is 2 over x plus 1 over 3 times x plus 3 to the power of negative 2 over 3. So this is our final answer. Now let's do example 6. If, if we have y equals to set 1 plus 8ex, show that y dy dx equals to 4ex. So we are going to start with y equals to 1 plus 8ex to the power of half. So I am going to differentiate this. So our dy dx is equals to 1 over 2. We can bring it as the coefficient. So we have 1 over 2. And 1 plus 8ex. And then we have to take half minus with 1. So we have negative half here. And then differentiating inside the bracket, we have 8ex. And then rearranging. So we have 1 over 2. Set 1 plus 8ex because we have the negative power here. So I am bringing it to the denominator. And then multiply with 8ex. So this is actually our y. Okay, so we can convert it 
to y and cross multiply. So now we have y dy dx equals to ex divided by 2, we have 4ex. So this is the answer for this question. And for this question, I want you to do it yourself and submit the solution to your lecturer as a proof that you watch this video. That's all. Thank you.